Greetings and, and or salutations, everyone. We're back again. I've got another and probably last install because uh, I just done run out of money. But in that box there is our new tab performance head pipes for the Street Glide. You can see I've done a little bit of prep work here. Uh, I already hadn't pulled my air cleaner off. Not that you're going to have to, but since I run the hard lowers, in the colder weather i got to take that on and off in order to get the hot lowers on and off you're not gonna have to worry about that but since we went ahead and popped that off you can see she good and dirty so we're gonna give that a good wash did pick up a hopefully you can still see me recharge kit at my local harley dealership Let's see if we can't get that on camera here Nothing fancy, just what they carry. So we're gonna give that a whirl. Hopefully that's about as easy as everything that I've seen. So, for what we got going on, I believe these are the tools that we're gonna need. I'm gonna start with a 5 16 Allen, a 9 16 a 15 mil 3 H drive, half inch socket, and an eight mil socket. Now I'm gonna use this just to spin them off real quick once I break them loose because uh, I don't have a fancy power ratchet. So like I said, went in, got the saddlebags off. I'm gonna try to do this. Oops, let's get you back up there. Uh, gonna try to do this without taking off my low side pipe. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but I'm lazy, so we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. Um, but I know that we're gonna have to take our heat shields off, which is why we got the eight mil socket for these guys because flatheads suck we got a half inch for the flange nuts up in here and gonna have to go ahead and pop this floorboard off that's what our allen keys for then we've got i got my 15 mil socket for here i got a I believe it's a 9 16 for the other side and then we've got half inch for these two bad boys so i'm gonna give that a shot and as you can tell garage is open it's finally up to about 60 degrees here in the pacific northwest and it's about freaking time so i'm gonna start spinning some wrenches and because i failed you so hard on my last video i'm going to try to do better you know pull some bolts follow up pull some bolts follow it up but you now the one that i dropped the ball on was the bar install and it still took me three hours. Not bad for someone who's never done it before. But I alcohol was involved. And I got I got nothing more than that. So I'm gonna get to spinning some wrenches. I'm gonna get that floorboard off and probably pull my heat shields and we'll check back in with you guys. Okay, we're back. Oh I haven't turned my music off yet. One sec. There we go. So went ahead and got the oh, the main pipe off. So I did have this little nightmare from Kiriakin that, yeah, that's not going back on because that really interferes with that O2 core because uh, I don't know that Kiriakin designed it this way or what, but that piece is dangerous. Um, so it's just, it's going to stay off. I don't recommend it. Uh, it's overpriced. It doesn't fit right. I mean, it looks decent when it's on there, but it's not worth the potential headache of screwing up an O2 sensor. But as you can see, I was able to keep the crossover on and freed up the O2 sensors. This is the front plug. And the black one here, if you can see it, is for the rear O2 sensor. So now that that's all off, here it is. So this had a catalytic converter in it until I drilled it out with a big old drill bit so still got our o2 sensors attached here so we're going to pop those off gonna reuse these reuse this clip here you just got to work it off around this swell so we reuse those and then in here we'll get that pulled out and we'll show you what all comes with that so hold on okay so here's the new one very not bad looking i strongly approve quality looks great wells look solid i even put a little caps on here at all the inlets and outlets at these little standoffs 
weld it on here because it's got to help center your heat shield on there. So roll that over. So see, so we're set up for the high flow O2 sensors as well as the standard. And comes with a baggie of stuff. So we got the bung plug. <laughs> Uh, for either size, depending on if you're running wide band or regular, which I'm still running the regular, so we'll go ahead and cap this one off, run our O2s in there. So it came with replacement crush washers, and inside this little cup here is replacement head gaskets. So I'll go ahead and fish those out of the jugs and pop those in there. But I really like how it comes with everything you need. Just do a quick swap. So. And somewhere in the box are directions. I'll end up pulling them out, but I don't know that we're going to use them, but better have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So next time I check in with you guys, we will I'll likely have it on installed on the bike, but not snug down. So see you here shortly. Okay, so new pipe is on. Oop, there we go. So... Remember, you gotta keep these a little bit loose up top on both front and rear. I did end up having to overcome my laziness and pull the low side pipe because, as I learned, trying to get this in and this in all at the same time is a huge bear. So, went ahead and kept these loose, fortunately, and then so that way I could get this back on there. Learn that one the hard way, but everything's on, everything's snugged up. So now I'm going to come through, get the crossover put back on. That was just one bolt underneath, and then be ready to get the slip ons put back on. But before I do that, I'm going to go through this little area here with a, a wet towel and a microfiber, kind of clean off some of the stuff that I can't normally get to, which should have done before I put the pipe back on but I didn't think about it until I started making clean spots so this would be a great time to get in there and clean all the nooks and crannies that you can't normally get to with the heat shields and pipe and everything on there so I'm gonna do what I can to hit some nooks and crannies best I can and go from there next time I, I come back should have the heat shields on the pipes on the bags on get a final look we'll do a quick fire up listen for some leaks and I think we will be good so be back all right so to quote the professional monkey that was a lot of garage yoga oh buddy fat kid needs a beer and a recliner but and apparently to put a side cover back on just when you think you're done you find that one thing you forgot so here we go after all that, ugh, you can't even tell, other than Chrome's a little bit shinier. So, still gotta get that side cover on. I do have the air cleaner on, but that's temporary, because like I said, I'm gonna uh, wash that off and re-oil it. I went ahead and fired it up. I listened up around the jugs and all of the connections where the pipes come together. I didn't listen for any ticking. And so I didn't hear any exhaust leaks, so that tells me that I got lucky and did something right. So, sweet. Uh, next thing is getting out on the ride and hooking up my Power Vision tuner and attempting to do the tune myself. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as going to uh, an actual tuner, but that costs money and i got to save up for that one. So... And I have no idea what they charge, but I'm ballparking at least 500 bucks. Could be more, could be less, I don't know. We'll find out when that time comes. In the meantime, I'll just do an auto-tune, and that'll get me better than where I am. So, uh, anyway, this is that little chrome piece from Kiriak, and that was telling us the transmission top cover. I don't recommend it, because it just gets in the way of the O2 sensor cable. In fact, I kind of dinked one up when I first put it on there and had to go and get it replaced fortunately i was under warranty and they believed me so we're just we're just gonna go without it i will probably end up throwing the trask uh transmission top cover on there when i save up some more nickels and dimes because they got great products and they know it and their price shows it so uh 
anyway, that's it for the Street Glide. Um, I've got to figure out how to do the tuner, so I don't think I'm going to necessarily do a video on that, but there's plenty of others out there. But I do want to get everybody's two cents. At the end of the day, not that it ultimately matters, but I kind of care. I want to know what everybody thinks because I'm taking a look at the fat boy, want to do some things. And what I'm thinking is I might want to change out those floorboards for pegs. And I know that's probably blasphemous, especially with all the fat boy uh, diehard guys, but I'm seeing it on the new breakout, or actually on all the breakouts, and I like it. And I'm also looking at possibly taking that snorkel off and throwing it on there and grabbing this ventilator and putting it over there. I don't know, I mean, I like how it looks on the breakout, but at the end of the day, it's a fat boy, not a breakout. But and it, from Harley, it's about 350 bucks to to do the swap. I don't know if I like the idea of 350 bucks enough. So if any of you guys have done that and you liked it, let me know. Uh, maybe throw up some pictures if you got them, because I'm really on the fence. I know the, the the fat boy is going to see some new bars. I'm going to do the same ones that I did on the street glide. I'm going to do the Dominator Industry uh, pre-wired. It's actually probably going to do the full kit because uh, then I get the the longer cables, the longer hydraulic lines, everything. So and it's it's fairly reasonable. I just don't know how tall I want to go. So got to figure that out. That's probably a next year project because uh, street glide is been a little expensive this off season. So if I do swap the uh, the ventilator over to the street glide i did pick up i don't know if this is going to come through probably not so let's go ahead and try to take this out of the bag one-handed here it's a replacement cover instead of because the fat boy says 114 and obviously my street glide's not a 114 but it's a replacement cover here and if that comes in it's just got a faux carbon fiber inlay and it's just it's just plastic so even if I don't do the, the air cleaner swap, I might still pull that 114 off and throw that on to the fat boy and you know, kind of go from there. It may end up doing the timer cover that says 114 stage one, kind of like what I did here, the 107 stage one. So that's fortunately with that power vision, I buy another license and I throw a tune on the soft tail. So, but projects for other times, um, I picked up a drone uh, not too long back. I don't know that I want to do ride videos, but if that's something you guys are into, let me know and I will try to figure something out. Because uh, at this point, I'm out of wrenching projects for the moment. So, got to come up with something else. So, if you guys got any ideas, uh, let me know. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop those down in the, the comments. I'll do my best to uh, answer any and all of them. So, Otherwise, uh, that's all I've got. Uh, make sure you hit that button, ring the bell, you know, do all the things, because I know I appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll catch you all next time.